What's the, uh, <laughs> what is your take, Sitch? Are you, was this court case wrongly decided? And I think was it was this, 100% wrongly decided. So this was I mean, a this, Supreme this was, Court case? This was my argument for why it was fine to for them to ban CRT or even gender ideology from being taught. I don't think teachers have Should free speech rights under yeah. their purview as being a teacher and teaching. Yeah. Their I mean, they're ideology. actors of the state. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it was the same thing with, what was her name? Uh, Kim Davis, right? The lady yes. who didn't want to give out marriage certificates to gay people because she said it violated her religious principles. Like, mm-hmm. well, then get a different fucking job. Sorry. Like, you work for the mm-hmm. state. I don't know what to tell you. So, yeah, I think it was compl- I think it's I don't think there should be prayer in school. I don't think the coach should be doing what he's doing. And I think the whole thing's ridiculous. So if yeah. everyone agrees on that, I'm I'm assuming that everyone agrees on, like, not teaching gender ideology and CRT, like you mentioned. Sitch. Yes, anyone I think that. I think the solution to all of this is just to uh, privatize education. Yeah, true. But uh, there you go. Uh, p- I, uh, p- let's go to you. Yeah, just, ouch. It, it depends on what you define as teach them it, right? If you mean teach them in a normative way that you ought to believe that gender includes whatever left wing people say that it includes, I think, of course not. Just like I think that teaching kids that socialism is the normatively right thing to do, yeah. um, I wouldn't be okay with that. Also, at young ages, I'm not so sure that gender related and sexual related topics are appropriate or age appropriate for children at a very young age. But when you get into high school to say something like I'm not saying I'm not saying that don't say gay law would necessarily apply to this activity, because, as you know, um, it says reasonable state standards when it goes above third grade. And so I'm not saying that it would apply to that stuff. Mm -hmm. But at, you know, ninth through 12th. I think you should be able to like learn about the issue of gender, right? And the, and the different parts of the debate, right? And I I just like I think that it would be worthwhile for you to like learn about religious stuff, not in the context of you should be a religious person, but come on. I, I think even Sitch agrees. I'm I'm an edgy atheist, like I understand, but I think even Sitch agrees that in order to be a worldly person or to understand even like art in the modern world, you need to understand like biblical illusions. You need to understand uh, this, pl- this looms large in our culture, even if we don't believe it. So you said I, nine. Look, look, look what you wait, did. Wait, Peace Co. You totally assumed. Sitch is. Uh, oh, I did. I did. Look at oh, that. No, I'm sorry, Sitch. Uh, I guess as an, as an edgy atheist, you must know that the intelligent design people say teach the controversy. Oh wait, did you say? Did you imply I'm an edgy atheist? Yeah, he was. No, call, he uh, called you an edgy. I thought atheist. he meant. I thought he meant himself. Yeah, I well, thought I, Pisco I, was talking to himself. Yeah, but he I said, said myself. It was kind of implied. Adam knew what I was getting. Oh but no, he, I'm he not said, atheist. At yeah, all. I'm like the only non-atheist here. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm so, not an atheist. So someone, someone, oh, someone based. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, wow. um, I, I just wanted to say that uh, I'm sorry about the chat not triggering me with their prayers i'm totally fine with you praying because <laughs> yeah, right. this is this is the chat's your, allowed your to pray. yeah you guys are allo- you can pray all you want it's your time and your dime as long as you're not uh getting into the government and making anyone else do it or right you know that's fine you guys pray to your heart's content good just go to respond Didn't... to the id yeah or yeah so someone yeah. said isn't it true that intelligent design people that's the same thing they say they say just teach the controversy. Teach the right? controversy. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's a difference here. I think that I would be okay if it was actually just teach them the controversy. I think that that where everyone's okay with like historically saying, oh, in the 1900s there was this court case um, where people were at disagreements about what is is and is not okay in school. They just play inherent the wind, and that's what happens. They just watch. Yeah. The, they just watch inherent the wind. That that's movie it. was very inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie. It doesn't matter if it's inaccurate. Okay. Oh, shit, that's over my head. I don't understand what you're, what you're saying. It's about the Scopes Monkey Trail. I thought that's what you oh, were referencing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you can teach them what Christianity like is. If someone asks you, what is Christianity or what is Islam or what are some tenets? It's of Islam? a delusion, right? That's what we teach them. <laughs> well, no, dude. I think you would teach them like some people believe that. Da, 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 da. Some and people, people believe a like, delusion. Well, some people think that like, or sorry, I, in school, I was taught about the five pillars of Islam, right? I was taught about different. That explains the, a know, lot. Uh, different, <laughs> <laughs> different kinds of Christianity, right? You learn about theological beliefs of given religions. And so I think that we're okay with learning things in a way that makes you a more rounded individual. What we're not okay with is 
putting certain things on the same level or to put a normative bias on particularly controversial political or I don't know, philosophical or ecclesiastical ideas. So what do you, so pride well, flags, do you, do you think it's okay to have pride, pride flags in classrooms or schools? Pride flags for teachers well, in, in public schools it just any, anywhere in public schools. Oof. Hmm. Yeah, I'm joking about the delusion I, thing too. The, oh, the, I, the is, thing, the I'm reason say, why yeah. I think it's why I think it's bad is because you know sooner or later that is the direction it's going to go for some teachers who feel like they're teaching something they feel is a delusion. They're going to start yeah. denigrating it, and it's just going to cause a bunch of it, chaos. It's, so listen, school in some ways you can't get around that there's a normative element to schooling, even deciding what classes that you teach. Do you teach but, basketball? But you, you can minimize it. You can strive you can, to minimize you it. You can minimize some of the more controversial aspects to it. You can make sure. it not politically but, normalized. Well, like even deciding, right, that even deciding that we're going to teach American history um, mm -hmm. for like two courses and world history only one course, that's a normative decision about what we value. And sure. just like if we're like teaching math and emphasizing algebra as opposed to, I don't know, stats or like, I don't know, stats instead of calculus, that is a normative decision as well. And right, so, but we all differentiate that from right. saying, you know, whether they're teaching that Democrats or Republicans are good. Right, right, right. And so how do you, so the it's a hard hypo. Michael gave a hard hypo, and I, and I appreciate it. What about if a school is taking an active position that we believe that, you know, gender, at least with respect to homosexuals, that that should be celebrated and it's okay to be gay? What if a school so, takes that position? Yeah, I, I would say definitely one of the thresholds is going to be how controversial and divided the topic is. So right now we have like nearly half of the country or maybe something approximating that I'm guessing that the things that homosexuality is wrong or undesirable, or at the very least has these conservative views on gender, which the yeah. pride flag is associated with. I'm not sure I mean, if it's half for, for gay people, but um, with yeah, with probably not gay people. There. Maybe it's like 20 or 30%. I'm guessing that are still against homosexuality. I don't know. I like the way your brain you is can, ticking. Um, you can teach you can teach things in a neutral way. Like, uh, I, I'm not I don't have any problem with a, like a re religious history class where you learn about the history of Christianity and Islam and, mm -hmm. and different religions. Um, I don't think that's a violation of church state separation. And I also think that there's topics that are necessary in regard to history that might be controversial, like including like the pride flag including blm like these these are components of our history now and uh, how do you flag, could, i think that's yeah. more that's celebration like having a swastika flag is not no 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 i'm, I'm not advocacy, saying yeah. i'm not saying that i'm saying that um if you're teaching the history of something then yeah that would be would be included i'm not saying that you would um, advocate one way or another. That's like that's the same thing I'm saying with the, the with flag the religious in some ways, class. What I'm saying is the, the flag in some sense is in some sense advocacy, right? If, if someone put up for sure a yeah. uh, player banner, the reason why we don't like that is because we think that it's you know you're advocating in some sense. Your displays show you what you value. And if someone put right. up a Confederate flag in the schools, I'm sure everyone here would be like, that's not okay, unless people think it oh, is okay. I want to answer the super chat. Um, Yes, I used the meme. Uh, the, the person said that I can't believe dark matter literally just used the meme um, about uh, Jesus saying not to pray out loud. No, I don't believe in your backwards ideas. So this argument wouldn't work on me, but I'm hoping it'll convince you. That is absolutely, <laughs> that meme is based and correct. If I don't, it doesn't matter what I believe. If it's what you believe, I'm going to appeal to it because I want to convince you of, of, of certain things. And I think you're being a hypocrite and you're not, uh, adhering to your own belief system. And I'm going to point that out. And I know you don't like that. I know that hurts that I know more about your religion than you do, but you're just going to have to suck it up because I'm correct. And the meme is correct. I just want to say bless you to whoever sneezed. Oh, that's my way. Thank Lisa. you. Wait bless a minute. You, Lisa. <laughs> well, Everyone's okay, I blessing think, you. Yeah. I, I don't think there should be any pride flags, any BLM flags, anything like that. Completely remove all that shit from public school. I don't think the intelligent design, the intelligent design question, I don't think should be taught in school. And I think it's a little, it's different because what they wanted was for that to be taught in science. science classes. They yeah. want it to be taught like, 
you know, you have a biology class and they talked about evolution. And then they also talked about intelligent design. Well, I mean, which what, it, it's well, not related to the subject matter. That is, that is making, that is having a normative, the school is getting involved and the government's getting involved in saying evolutionists are just right. And you, this stuff is just religious. Well, no, we're, so yeah, of course, I'm not going to, everything is yeah. normative to some extent, obviously. But if our schools are supposed to be based on like empiricism and the scientific method, method mm. and things of that nature, then obviously you can't be teaching intelligent design in schools. That would be preposterous. You could teach it in a, a religious class in a public school where a teacher just mm -hmm. talks about it and explains what it is. Or yeah. even if you have a current events class and you just talk about that, there's this, that you could actually teach the controversy in a current events class while it's going on. I'm just saying that the, that doesn't really make a one-for-one -one comparison because they wanted that subject taught in biology classes where it doesn't fit whatsoever. And right. I think this comes into play with the CRT gender stuff, which is that like, I guess if in like high school, there wanted to be an elective that was some weird gender shit. I mean, I, I would have my doubts that a teacher who would want to teach that subject would be neutral, but whatever, maybe if there was an elective on gender crap in high school and people want to take it, fine, whatever. I wouldn't but be it tough. seems okay with like, like they want to shove that and CRT into like every other subject that has nothing to do with. You'd be okay with it because just like you'd be okay with like a world religions class because at a certain If it point, was taught neutrally, sure. Well, what does that, what does that mean? Starting like it's not, as, as you said, is they're not advocating for a specific religion. I think that that that's yeah. I mean, like I I would tend to, I don't think that it's necessarily a good idea for our teachers to be like taking on normative questions with respect to deeply controversial and divisive issues. Um, I'm not no I don't know if that's the role because I certainly don't like it when it's applied against norms that I um, that I enjoy. Right? I don't like it when teachers are talking at like anti-vax stuff in science class. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like it if they were talking about like that it the South was in the right for the Civil War. I certainly I wouldn't like that kind of normative stuff. Um, but I don't know what are the good sort of neutral principles to apply when every case comes before you, other than to say, um, I, I think Michael said like take a look at polls, polling data to see how controversial it is. But is that even the best method? Because what's the denominator? Is the denominator the whole country or is it local polling? Because if it's local polling. Mm. Some things are not controversial at all in New York that are going to be super controversial in Texas and vice versa. And so I don't even actually know what the best neutral principle is to apply. Um, and I guess I'm open to hearing good thoughts. Yeah, there isn't a universal, I don't think there is a universal neutral principle and people are going to have to kind of do it case by case. But I guess my only concern would be that if there was a teacher who wanted to teach a gender centric course in high school, I would be highly suspicious that I don't think that person is going to like you know, give equal time to, I don't know, uh, what's his name? Leonard Sachs's, you know, why gender matters and, you know, gender and biology versus some, you know, everything's a social construct crowd because yeah. the type of people that seem to be attracted to that subject seem to be very much in just one camp, Yeah, at least currently.